We are here playing Sentinels of the Multiverse, and we are going against Iron Legacy. See how you can defeat this boss here on Legendary Tactics. All right, so one of the things I noticed when we're pl uh, when playing Iron Legacy uh, is that you've really got to watch the heroes you take. So I, yeah. I, so generally, I would be taking um, Legacy, Haka, Bunker, and Raw. But when I took you those guys, I, I, I love all those Haka. guys. <laughs> but I noticed I was getting absolutely schooled with them. So I thought, you know what? I got to mix it up. So I'm going Omnitron. I'm going Tempest, Frantic, and Raw. Is that I'm, Omnitron? Omnitron, yeah. And we're going to go in. Okay. Uh, I, I, I just missed that environment. I think it's, it, it's the block, I think. So anyway, oh, uh, one of the things with Iron Legacy is he has all these ongoing events. So these uh, you're going to see like uh, we are galvanized. We've got armored fortitude, demoralizing presence, galvanized. Um, so a ton of these beat down. So these are all happening, and they don't go away. They can go away with card event, but otherwise they're there to stay, right? You can see the kind of damage they're doing, like six damage. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that's pretty powerful. So uh, there's there's on the Tron right there. On the Tron X, yeah. Oh okay, nice. So what I quickly yeah, realized wow. was that my beefcakes that I usually take, um, they had no real way to to uh, combat these ongoing events. So I had to sort of sort of uh, change it up a little bit with the, the characters yeah. that I took. Yeah, well, that's that's uh, that's good because you didn't you say you got crushed with your usual lineup? Yeah, those four, those four quickly. that I mentioned, I usually uh, who I, my normal my standard four could not stand up to Iron Iron Legacy. So wow, uh, these four though, with the powers that they have. So if you look at this, just dis kind of disruptive a little uh, bit better fletches. Yeah, so okay, I can destroy up to two ongoing events right off boom, right off the hop, right? Oh, that's so yes. now 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 Iron Legacy is all of a sudden he's just down to two uh, galvanized events. So that was quite now on the nice. Tron X has a great event, which is you reveal the top card of any player and it can come into play if you want. So I picked raw because raw is my heavy, yeah. my, my big tank. Yeah, boom. that's the one that uh, does the damage. Yeah, so he the just damage did, dealer. Yeah, he did damage. Boom, and uh, he gets to uh, now cards in play. He doesn't have any cards, so he has to just do his own his own damage again. This though, pyre. Yeah. So he gets his fire there on Iron Legacy. So right away we got him down to. Uh, I think it's. Uh, so did you feel like you needed to basically get something early to get rid of those events? Oh, as you soon know, as like possible. Like having the Tron X do that yeah and that made all the difference that you... that was a huge so there okay so yeah um that was a huge difference yes 100 yes. percent. you have to you have to like mitigate and destroy those ongoing events as soon as possible because yeah um it's not like the regular minions where you just sort of whittle away at their 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 health yes they're they're, they're there they're... to stay unless you have card ability so yeah wow yeah yeah, yeah. so it was yeah, really so it's once really... you sorry go ahead yep. Well, once you've got those those uh, things, uh, that's a great after. card, by the way. Lightning splash, yes. One one uh, one hit of five damage. That's great. Yeah, perfect. So, what's your what's your plan now that you got those events? You got rid of those events off the hop. So he's still at twenty nine health. So he's still got a fair chunk of health there to whittle down. So we got to work yeah. on that. Um, we got to start worrying about the environment cards too, to a point. But, yes. Um, um, so frantic here, she can deal up to three uh, targets yeah, one fa damage. Fanatic. Oh, the fanatic, fanatic. <laughs> the frantic fanatic, <laughs> frantic fanatic. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yeah. So, um, but at this point, I don't have a lot. There's not there, that one card there where, where it's damage uh, one to three different characters. There's not a lot you can do with that because there's only the only Iron Legacy up. So, yeah, you still sort of have to go through your 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 cards and say, hey, which ones kind of make sense and. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you're basically just looking to, you know, beat him up uh, while while his events are uh, have been taken out of play. Yes, exactly. And Raw is just the guy to do it. <laughs> so he is the my big tank. So there. I've always liked. I haven't played this game anywhere near as often as you have, but I I've always liked Raw. I think he's he's really. Uh, He's a neat character to play. Oh, he's play. great. He's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just a lot of fun. He's got a great, great tank ability, though. Just really solid. Yes. So. Yeah. 
That's great. Um, so two more damage it, on on Iron Legacy, and yep. then here we can deal him so, a, a three three more damage. Yeah, that's perfect. So, so you're really beginning to kind of pile on a, a chisel a fair him bit. down. Now, if he had had those other all those other you know ongoing events, you saw the kind yes. of damage they were doing. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. It, it quickly. So no it wonder quickly, it took out Haka in like you know a couple turns or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It took out Haka and Bunker and you know and just I uh, and my regular legacy. So. Yeah. So how did you go about choosing the the different mix of characters? Was it trial and error or did 100%, you? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Trial and error. And wow. I think that's what one of the fun things about this game is that it it's sort of the puzzle, right? You you, you go up yes. against a boss and you use the the characters you'd like and then you're realizing like, wait a second here it fo- not- <laughs> it forces you out of your comfort zone because you're like okay these guys aren't working yeah. I, I have to go in a different direction right so yeah so, so uh, yeah, yeah this no, iron fist here good, it's so. whittling me down here now now you can see we are using the block because it's like a prison cell is the idea and so they have three prisoners yes. up so i i do have to start worrying about those guys they're going to start the inmates are going to start doing some damage if i'm not careful yes yeah, I have to say as well, like this, the app <clears throat> is really smooth. It, it actually feels like you're reading a comic book and it does oh. has all those little touches. It's just it does really, a great uh, well job done. at it. Eh? A hundred percent. No, I totally agree. It, it uh, and, and just the whole um, the whole um, the scripting for it is beautiful. It just it flows awesomely. It, it just knows. Yes. Yeah, it's just very well done. And actually, the only suggestion I make is that I think in the settings you can kind of speed up the animations a little bit. Because I remember when uh, we first got the app and we were trying to play online, it each game took like two hours because the scripting, everything forever. was so slow. So yeah. if you if you play around with the speed in the settings, uh, um, it uh, makes it a, a, a quicker game so you can get in more games and yeah get good yeah it, yeah so. yeah exactly that's true too yeah yeah, yeah. speed it up speed up the the in-between parts if you want to right some of the people like that for flavor but now you can see yes. though my guys are kind of low like on the was at nine like tempest is at yeah. seven here he's he's not at great health but iron legacy yeah, he's is gonna be around at 22 health so, well he just yeah, got hit was... for seven though so that was a big damage yes. hitter <laughs> i yeah, knew i had that one big. big five card and he gets to strike again with his uh his his um his own personal power yes um so the in, the inhuman tempest now do you normally play with uh no i don't no so this, this yeah. these are these are the guys like i was saying like i had to, i had to go outside the box for this and really find characters that would really pair well against um yeah, against Iron Legacy. That's, so now yeah, this is an interesting, interesting one here because that that was deal one uh, three different targets. So I could have like whittled down some of those the inmates. prisoners. Yeah, the prisoners. Yeah, yeah, so the inmates. Yeah. But my problem is a, a fanatic. She, uh, you know, she's at eleven health, which is not great either. So I mean, yeah, I am a little bit low for round two though. <laughs> like this yes. only <laughs> it's only round pretty... two. It's <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm just going for broke though. I'm going after Iron Legacy. I'm trying to get him down. Yeah, he's at seven. Can... And I've got another attack here. I could hit him for another, another one. And and I'm kind of hoping that possibly Raw can seal the deal here. Yeah, seal the deal. Yeah. Well, down to five. Yeah. So he, so outside of those ongoing down events, to three. there's really not much. There's not really much to Iron Legacy. It's really if if you can get rid of those ongoing events, is there? No, and that know, and that was the thing. Like that's Iron Legacy's complete complete shtick very powerful but very brittle yes yes if you can if you can break through those and the problem was when i when i didn't have any way to to chisel through the ongoing events iron legacy crushed me every time in in three turns like had me out so is omnitron x like the key member here do you feel they're all uh tempest is pretty key because uh omnitron had had uh cards that could destroy ongoing events so does tempest and that's why i brought those two in oh, okay gotcha. yeah yeah gotcha. so those so it was both of them yeah those two were key and then uh so raw was my big damage dealer yes and and here he's gonna he's gonna actually um i believe he's gonna finish it here finish it nice yeah, right, with his uh well, he's got the staff of raw on there yes yeah, uh, he's actually great. doing he's he's actually the healthiest too of all 19 health he's yeah doing pretty good so <laughs> Yeah, that's great. And does Fnatic? Do you feel Fnatic is is uh, interchangeable, or do you think that she's 
pretty key to this uh, lineup. I, she was one kind of variable that I thought, you know, I'm going to bring her in just because I, I, yeah. I was just trying different things. And there you can see the different win. Different things. There you go. Oh, Nicely done. Oh, yes. <laughs> Iron That's Legacy perfect. put down to so, rest. So I, the, the yeah. definite moral of this story is you have to watch the boss you're playing against and uh, plan appropriately. So... That's great. Well, congratulations on the win. We hope you guys got uh, some value out of this and maybe some strategy tips on how to beat Iron Legacy the next time you face him. I'm Cax. And I'm Nato. And this is Legendary Tactics. <laughs>